So I had to repent of something this morning, which uh, is always hard for me. Um, yesterday I was uh, having lunch with someone, and they commented, "What uh, you know? What strange weather we've been having?" And I immediately said, "Yes, it it certainly has been." And because we've been in Maui anyway, it's mainly been clouds, <laughs> uh, not much else, but just cloudy and not our normal trade wind weather. And uh, this morning when I woke up, the Lord said, you came into total agreement uh, with another believer, and you, what does the Bible say? You know, <laughs> in the mouth of two or three witnesses, something is established, is done. I'm going, ah! So I immediately repented and said, God, you know, forgive me, I come out of agreement with that. And I uh, asked for a crop failure of those words uh, because I'm tired of the clouds. But it, there was a bigger lesson there, though, too. I think that this is, overall, there is uh, a major attack on um, Christians uh, in the media, in the world, and, and almost across the board in every arena. And whether we uh, like it or not, and how much we, um, ever we try to shut it out, those words seep in, and and it eventually takes a toll. And I kept feeling like these clouds have been a, a spiritual symbol of something that God was trying to tell me. And I think this is this is what it is: is that we're being barraged uh, as Christians, our president. Um, but especially his Christians and people who believe in uh, common sense and moral morals, uh, godly people, we are being barraged by words. And um, it, it, they, the enemy is using uh, God's tactics. I mean, what did God do? God kept saying, you know, I'm going to send a Savior. I'm going to redeem you. I'm going to do it. And he kept saying it. He said it over hundreds of years. Can you imagine? Kept saying the same thing to them. But that's how we're made to work. So I think uh, at least so far the revelation that I've gotten is this clouds that's hiding the sun is kind of what's going on in the natural realm. We're being barraged by words that are oppressing. I mean, they're not hurting us. They're certainly harassing. I read a comment yesterday that said uh, somebody in the entertainment field, and oh no, what's the entertainment field? It was uh, uh, LGBTQ uh, activists, and he said, he said, I might not be able to take down every pastor, but I can make them look like fools. And I thought, isn't, <laughs> you know. So remember that. And it's just words, but we have authority over those words. But don't. It, what I found is I was subtly, very subtly trapped into believing, uh, not necessarily that, but the barrage of the words wears you down. It's, it's oppressive. So we have got to learn to take our authority uh, over those words. They are harassing. They do try to make you look foolish. But um, we have got to learn to use our words in the sound that God, that God gives us and to put them down in their place.